Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are finally reviewing the newest release from Tom Ford, Vanilla Sex. I've been dying to try this perfume. Um, it seemed like everyone already either like tested it or like purchased it, except me because it was not available in the UK and the day when it was available on their website, I checked Selfridges and I saw that they have it in Selfridges as well. And guess what? I was working and Selfridges is literally 20 seconds away from the place where I work. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. On my break, I'm going and I'm gonna spend it. If I like it, I'm gonna buy it. So obviously we have it here. It means that I like it. This was not a blind buy. I'm not blind buying a 290 pounds fragrance we're gonna talk about the price later okay uh but yeah i finally have vanilla sex many of you um asked me what do i think about this fragrance i was like uh i don't think anything yet because i have no opinion yet because i didn't smell it but now i have it so i'm gonna let you know everything that i think about this new release so before we start if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in like i said as soon as I saw that Tom Ford is releasing a new fragrance, I was like, I need that. I have like 50 vanilla perfumes, but I need another one. Uh, did this happen before? Yes, last year with Cherry Smoke. Everyone went crazy with Cherry Smoke. People were reviewing it. People were talking about it. It was not released yet. Same thing happened, okay? And I bought that one as well. Uh, one year later, they did it again. Now, like I said, it was not available in the UK. The day I was checking every single day when it's going to be available. And the day when I saw that it's available in Selfridges, I literally, I was running. I was running because I was on my break. So I had to eat as well. Okay. I had to take my break. I was like, do you have vanilla sex? And they're like, yep. Okay. Let me smell it. The tester was empty. I was like, what are you talking like what do you mean your tester is empty she found another one who's like i need to smell it smelled it opening i was like mm. and then i was like give me two minutes give me two seconds okay as well i was like yeah okay fine yeah i'm gonna buy it i could i could see that the sales associate was a bit confused because who buys a 290 pounds perfume just like that that's me well to be honest uh for christmas this was my Christmas gift. Obviously, I got it after Christmas. Um, but my boyfriend asked me, what do you want for Christmas? Because what can you want? I was like, vanilla sex from Tom Ford. He said, okay, fine. Is this released? No. I was like, don't worry about any other gifts. Like, don't buy me anything stupid. Anything that I don't need. Just give me this. If you want me to give me this. He said, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to get you vanilla sex. Um, so it was kind of like a delayed Christmas gift. I didn't pay 290 but I I didn't get it from, from the brand or from like a retail or anything like that. Like someone still paid for it, okay? Um, but yeah, I have thoughts, okay? I have thoughts about this one. First of all, this is the box. This is the bottle. I feel like it's the bottle. Like, it's just that shade of like cream beige that it's so nice i know it's just something about this bottle that i really really like um they actually had bani fatal as well the new reformulation i would say i never liked bani fatal i've tested the new one i hate it i absolutely hated it so no um i didn't like i didn't particularly like the original but the new one i, I really don't like it now vanilla sex notes you are gonna have some bitter almond in the opening you're gonna have vanilla and some floral notes. And then in the dry down, you have even more vanilla, you have tonka bean and you have sandalwood. I didn't read any reviews on Fragrantica. Um, I've just seen here and there about it, like before it was actually released. And I knew that it's gonna have almond. I knew it's gonna be quite heavy on the almond, but that was everything that I knew. Now, when you first spray it, you are definitely getting almonds, lots and lots of almonds. Opening, 
Literally, the first spray is not my favorite because that almond is quite medicinal. Like, it's the type of almond that it's also in like Velvet Tonka from BDK. I really don't like that one. But the almond in that fragrance stays the same. I personally don't like that perfume, that type of almond. It's a very medicinal almond, if you ask me. And same thing happens with this one. First spray is quite medicinal almond, but then slowly it's getting better in terms of the almond. Slowly it's getting more like powdery, sweet almonds. You're definitely getting the vanilla, but it's not a sticky sweet vanilla, it's not a syrupy vanilla, it's quite a powdery, yeah, quite a powdery fragrance. And the vanilla, I do really like the dry down, okay? Opening after that first spray when it's quite medicinal, I'm smelling like marzipan. Like it literally smells like marzipan. It doesn't smell very natural, it still smells quite artificial, but it smells literally like marzipan. I do not get any floral notes. I do not get any tonka bean. For me, tonka bean has a very specific smell and I'm not getting that. Sandalwood, maybe because it's quite a creamy fragrance, but I'm not getting the woodiness from the sandalwood. I'm only getting the creaminess from it. And then in the dry down, it's more like the almond is not that strong and the vanilla is more like a vanilla pudding. It has that pudding quality. Do I really like it? Yes. Do I love it? No. Would I spend my money if it was not a gift, like a Christmas gift? I don't think so. I don't think so, but because it was a Christmas gift, I was like, you know what? I really like the scent, but I will not spend 290 for it, okay? If this one was priced 190 yes. 190 fair enough. Especially because it's just a 50 ml, but 290 for a 50 ml, it's a lot. It's a lot. I do like the scent though. Like, I really like the scent. I don't particularly like that opening, but after that, I do really like the scent. Immediately, I started to think of Lira from Zerzhov. Uh, this one is more like, it's very almond deep and it's more like an almond croissant. Many people don't like um, Italica. Did I say Lira before? I think I said Lira before. It's Italica, sorry. It has in the dry down is the same type of almond. So it's not that medicinal anymore. It's quite powdery, like in Italica, but with way more vanilla. Yes, like, like a vanilla pudding. Starts medicinal, turns into like marzipan and then a vanilla pudding with some almonds. This is what I'm getting now. The name, the bottle, I said, I really like the bottle, okay? It's just something about this color. I really like this bottle. Um, the name, Vanilla Sex. When I think about this name, I thought it's going to be a bit more intriguing, a bit more, I don't know. For me, it's more like Vanilla Cuddle. It's, it's like a hog. It's a cuddle. Being that, like powdery and soft and it's it's a soft scent by the way um it's a vanilla cuddle so i'm not really sure about the name i don't have anything against the name but it's just it's quite it's a bit misleading if you ask me because this is more like vanilla cuddle vanilla let's sit on the couch and watch a movie that type of vanilla not mm, van it's not that it's not as sexy it's not as i don't know intriguing again as the name might suggest the performance we know tom ford doesn't really last i would not say that it didn't last at all on my skin like it lasted four or five hours but it's a skin scent that's why i feel like vanilla cuddle it's a better name because you literally need to be very close to the person to smell the fragrance it's like, I need to put, I really need to put my nose on the strip to be able to smell it. It's not super, like, just a skin. You can, you can smell it. If I do this, you can smell it. But it's definitely not a big projector. Um, I wore it to work. And 
I I told everyone at work, I was like, I'm going on my break to get Vanilla Sex from Tom Ford. They're like, what's that? The newest release from Tom Ford. Here we go. Is this one? Blah, blah, blah. Everyone talks about it. So the next day I wore it. So they knew that I was wearing Vanilla Sex from Tom Ford because I've mentioned it a billion times. And everyone smelled it, but they smelled it like they sprayed it. But nobody actually like, complimented me. Nobody actually said like, mm, you smell nice today. I feel like nobody was actually able to smell me. I didn't really overspray it. I mean, it's still overspraying, but I did probably like 10, 12 sprays with this one. And you know me, I reapply, like I reapply during the day, but I didn't do like 30 at once. Cause again, it's just a 30 ml, it, not a 30, a 50 ml, but it's unbelievably expensive. So I definitely think that you need like a moisturizer. You need, you need something underneath to make this a bit stronger maybe. It's just not as strong as I want it to be. If you like Italica, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this one as well, okay? They're definitely not the same. I've seen, um, I've seen her, some other people comparing it to Dama Bianca from Zerzhov. Maybe, maybe just that like powdery vanilla, but they're not the same. Like, don't think if you put Italica and Dama Bianca, you're getting vanilla sex. No, this one has elements from both of these fragrances, mainly from Italica, but it's its own thing, okay? In terms of vanillas, I have, like I said, a billion vanillas. I don't have a vanilla that smells like this. But even though I don't have a vanilla that smells like this, I would not consider this one the most unique, again, intriguing vanilla that I've got. No. Um... It's quite, it's, it's a bit basic. I don't really like it though. Like, let me spread it on my hand. Like five pounds, gone. See, opening, I'm not a fan of the opening. It's something very medicinal with that almond. But I know that I really like that right now. Again, I just wish it projected a bit more. I don't mind about the longevity. I'm reapplying my fragrances anyway. Like I keep, I carry my fragrances in my bag all the time. But at least I want people to be able to smell me, okay? Like, if I go to a bar, I don't really go to bars, but let's say I go to a bar, I know, to drink a coffee, I stay there for like an hour, I want for that hour people around me to smell my fragrance. Don't think it's going to be the case with this one. Like, they need to get very close, like very, very close to you to be able to smell your fragrance. Is it worth... 290 pounds yes if you're getting it as a gift no if you have to pay it simple as that um yeah it's it's um, it's very expensive i mean i know it's a private blend but it's very expensive if you don't have a youtube channel if you don't i don't know if you're not into the perfume industry if you don't think you need this okay at least go to the store if you really, really want it. Like, if you're really intrigued by the name, the bottle, the notes, go and test it. Please do not blind buy it because you might be disappointed. You might not like the scent. I've seen some, I've heard that some people don't actually like the scent at all. Funny story. Um, I got vanilla sex. I got home. I was like, oh, ooh, have vanilla sex. And then he smelled it. He hates it. He absolutely hates it. He's like, why did I just spend 290 pounds on this? It smells disgusting. And I was like, it was my Christmas gift and it smells fabulous. Uh, but yeah, he hates it. It's my Christmas gift. I got him lots of Christmas gifts as well. So we are, we are fine. We are the same. But yeah, it's not going to be for everyone. That's the thing. Like I've, The reactions I had around me, it's not going to be for everyone. I've asked, like I said, my, my colleagues to smell it. And some of them are like, mm, and some of them are like, that's nice. How much is it again? 290 Okay. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't smell like a 290 pounds fragrance. It smells great. If it was 190 maybe, even with 190 that would be expensive for 50 ml. But let's say it's private blend, blah, 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 private collection. 290 is too expensive. It's just too expensive, period. Uh, so yeah, if you really, 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 really want it, buy a sample, even though it's gonna be expensive. Even if you have to pay like 20 pounds for a sample, buy a sample, at least you're not paying 290 pounds for 50 ml, okay? 
uh, if you're not that bothered about it don't 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 even try honestly don't because it's a very very nice fragrance it's a lovely fragrance but it's not worth the price tag no it's definitely not worth the price uh, the price tag so yeah banana sex so forth here we have my thoughts about it oh they gave me as well like a pouch i got it from selfridges they were like oh first clients are getting a pouch thank you not really sure what i'm gonna do with it but yeah i have a song for pouch as well um uh, so yeah that was it for today let me know in the comments down below if you test it the new vanilla sex from tom ford uh they did it again like i said last year same story with cherry smoke same story i ran to the fridges i bought the fragrance i actually liked cherry smoke better even though cherry smoke i don't think it's going to be as mass appealing as vanilla sex and that one is stronger if you ask me it's definitely stronger than this one um but they did it again they created hype before it was released and now we all have it uh don't blame by it this is first and if like i said if you're not really bothered about it just forget about it because i know i know let me tell you in can i smelled so many fragrances that are not released yet so my guess is all of those brands are going to release their new fragrances at Exans. Exans, it's 6th, 9th of March. So if you want to spend some money on fragrances, save your money for March. Because there are going to be some perfumes. There are going to be some new releases that you definitely, definitely, definitely want to get your nose on. Okay? I don't have the bottles. I just smell them. With some brands, I don't even work. I just smell them. Uh, and I was like blown away so if you want to spend money on perfumes i'll definitely wait for march because i know there are going to be some amazing amazing new releases okay so yeah that was it for today uh thanks so much for watching let me know in the comments down below again what do you think about this new release from tom ford and if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next one Bye bye